Yeah, I thought it was a very good performance. We continued uh, with our football from from the weekend, the second half. Um, so yeah, we I thought we we dominated the game, created lots of opportunities, uh, reacted well to to the disappointment of the goal at, at half time. Uh, players stayed calm, um, kept the structure, kept the speed of the game, and uh, and got the rewards. And and the keeper made some. Fantastic saves to keep the score down. So, uh, so yeah, job done in the first uh, in the first leg, and now we got to finish it off next week. Uh, I wanted to ask you about the reaction at half time from from conceding just before the break, Brendan. What was your what was your message to the players uh, d- during that half time interval? Yeah, listen, it was just to reinforce, you know, a couple of defensive items, but really to reinforce the, the idea of our game and. That it just shows you no matter how dominant you are that you can concede a goal and uh, if, if you make mistakes. So so thankfully, second half, we uh, we didn't make any mistakes. Our possession was fast and was direct. We got onto the sides really well. And uh, yeah, we looked a real threat. Uh, how important is it to take a lead like this into into the second leg to a, to a ground, obviously, that, that none of these players or, or yourself have, have ever visited? No, I think it's, it's it's a really good job done by the players. I thought their attitude was very good in the game. And, and like I say, it, but it's over two legs. So you you have to go there next week and, uh, and finish it off. Uh, finally, Brendan, I wanted to ask you about a couple of, of substitutions, a couple of injuries. But obviously, Charles Soon to look like he had a, a, a knee problem. But is James Madison... Okay, he looked in, in, in. It was a. It looked like a quite a worrying and a bit of a bizarre incident. What what exactly happened, and, and is he okay? Yeah, I've spoken to him before I've come out here, so um, yeah, he just felt uh, a bit funny in the game, and um, so we, we didn't want to to put any risk with with that. So uh, so yeah, he didn't feel well, so we just took him off, and he he went in seeing the doctors, and like I said, I spoke to him before I came out. Cags has um, hurt his knee on a, when he was landing, so we just have to assess that tomorrow. Um, just with James, obviously he was left out of the starting eleven tonight. Was that just because he, he's played so much football over the over the past few months? Yeah, yeah, exactly that. And then on um, Kin as well, we've just spoken to him. He seemed determined to to score tonight and did get his goal eventually. Is that something you've been sort of telling him he can do and get it, get into the box yeah. a little bit more? <laughs> yeah, yeah, I've said to him and he, he will tell you. I think he, he's he's got such great energy to get in the box, and uh, I thought it was very unfortunate not to have scored more than one goal. You know, the keeper makes a really good save in the first half, uh, but yeah, that that's the the side of his game that. Um, that can really improve and, uh, and he's been unfortunate not to have scored more goals since he's played but he's been absolutely outstanding I thought he was outstanding tonight he that having a left-sided player on that side of the field really helps Harvey as well because the ball gets to him quicker you know so he can then uh, he can then have that more more time and so he's um, he, he's been a real real made a real impact for us and um I was delighted with him and, and hopefully, you know, as I said, he can, he's going to keep improving. Uh, the two teams had uh, quite different uh, lead-ups to the game. Uh, how did you see that? Uh, uh, you were you were mid-season and, and Ranas was the, had the first game uh, of the season. How did you see that make uh, an impact on the game? Yeah, it does at some point in the second half. I think that um, was, I've been in that situation before with... Champions League qualification games when you're in your pre-season and the obviously the, the Scandinavian teams are in um, uh, are, are midway through their season so uh, but yeah I, I think it was important for us to keep the tempo of the game up and uh, and I thought the players did that well but uh, but Randers the good side good players and it shows you if you don't uh, if you lose your concentration or you make any defensive mistakes that they have players that can punish you and they scored the goal just before half time um, change the shape of the team to a back five maybe to try and keep the draw but I thought our players played the, the system very well stretched the game stretched the, the field and uh, and created more opportunities but, uh, but no we had to really work tonight but it was a, a job well done thank you pleasure okay James Cole from Sky please hi Brendan just on James Madison did, did he collapse can you can, uh, clear that up or he seemed to just sit down. No, 
the ball. No, no, he just felt unwell, so we we took him up. And the physios were taking his uh, his heart rate. Was that just uh, a mandatory thing, or is there a concern it was a heart issue? Or sorry, Didn't the physio that. seemed to be taking his pulse when he was on the on the floor. Yeah, I, I think it's just a, it's something that they will do just to see how they feel him. Do you, uh, what, how would you rate his chances for Sunday? I don't know. I'll find out tomorrow. Okay, thank you. Thanks, Jim. Okay, Tom Colomossi, please. Hi, Brendan. Hi, Tom. Can I just ask how James feels now, please? How was he when you spoke to him? Yeah, yeah. I He was sat up. I spoke with him before he came out. So, uh, yeah, he felt a little unwell in the game, a little bit faint, but, he, um, but he's okay. How impressed were you with the reaction early in the second half? Because the goal they scored just before half time could easily feel like the number of chances you've had another thing that's gone against you but they reacted very well to it didn't they? yeah yeah the reaction was great I think it was something that I've talked about over this last 10 days or so in terms of you know teams you not have it all your own way you know you, you want to win games you want to be in front in games but sometimes teams will be in front and teams will equalise but it's so important that you stay calm and, uh, and continue with your football and that's what we reinforced at half time. And the players come out, they scored early in the second half, of course, and then that gives them uh, a greater confidence. So, um, so yeah, they dealt with that really well. And uh, and like I said, Tom continued with the momentum from the, the weekend's game. 